welcome to summer in the UK. It is essentially May. It's how, isn't it nine degrees today? It's freezing, I can't take it. Anyway, we are on our way to Harrods. You know the last time we came in here, we got in here and it, it closed. <laughs> so we've come in here early today. I thought we were gonna get lunch, but then I remembered due to COVID, you can't eat inside so we got a sandwich at a petrol station and ate that and now we are heading into Harrods. I was gonna have a look at the Dior new collection and I had lots of you saying oh can you film it? The only thing is I think I should be able to but Enrique he isn't in today so I don't know whether I'll be able to but um not that it's a problem to film in there but just to say of course you can't film into the house, it's nice to be able to film through the window. Let's see what they've got. Look, like little bag thing, a belt. This is, um, this is Sloan Street, uh, by the way, which is one of the streets in West London, Knightsbridge, which has all of the big designer brands on it. So when we connect travel, for any of you who haven't been to the UK before, if you're into this kind of thing, this is a good street for you to go to. And Harrods is just the other side of this block. I've come past this brand and look at these teeny bags in the window to give you an idea. That's the regular size. Look at these. Aren't they really sweet? What is this brand? That is the brand. Hello, am I zoomed in? just um we're just about to go now into super brands and see what if we can see anything in fendi so like this <laughs> um yes this the belts are there any trousers <laughs> You just saw there we went into Fendi and um, I didn't get anything because there was a pair of trousers, a pair of jeans that I really liked the look of but um, the regular sales associate that I normally uh, go to in there isn't in today so I'm gonna WhatsApp him later with a picture. That was long-winded, I don't know why I did that. Anyway, um, we're now finally going to go to um, to Maria Tash. Before we go into Chanel, because we're like way early, I'm gonna I'm going to Maria Tash because when you get a piercing done, the bar they put through is normally really long, so that any swelling doesn't uh, get affected. Once it's healed, the really long bars can actually, uh, I found, make the healing go back on itself because they pull on everything. Since March last year, I've needed to go down a size on the bars, but I haven't been able to get in here. And I'm in here now and I've got two that I need looking at. Guess what? I've kind of, I've kind of impl implicated myself in getting another piercing and I'm getting it there because I've got, now I tell you why, it's the reason why I'm doing it is because I ended up with one extra earring. So do you remember a couple of years ago when I got it done, I had this star garland thing and then I took it out and I had another piercing put in, but there wasn't enough room for it. And now I've got this really nice star garland left and nowhere for it to go. And I'm a bit scared because it's in that bit, but the lady said to me, she was like, if you've got your helix done, that's gonna be nothing. And that's not gonna be so bad to sleep on, so. It's exciting, but it's nervous. I'm just waiting for them because they need to take out one of the earrings and sterilize it, and then I'm gonna come back at five. Shall we go into Dior? 20 to one, okay, so we've got quite a lot of hour and 20 minutes. Um, should we go into Dior? Let's go into Dior. No, but the new collection's in. Yeah, let's go, check it out. Oh my 
Look at this large size Lady Dior in fabric. Look, see that's, I really like the Lady Dior as you can tell since I'm using it today. Look at this, this is in the new collection. Look at the bright colors, look at all of this. Sorry. This is the um, leopard print. What? The I like the most. What? Come around. The tote leopard. Oh, yeah, <laughs> David's just seen the book tote. Really like the prints. This is actually um, like a new style of bag, a vanity case bag. I've just come back to Chanel and um, is there anyway <laughs> I've come back here now I'm gonna work my way in because my appointments now I think it's crazy money though it's around six thousand five or six thousand or something and there's that small bag thing that little bag whatever you do with that some of you might be wondering why are you going into Chanel? Because you know how I feel about Chanel. Quite frankly, it is the ultimate sweet shop. I love looking at the stuff in here, but as I've mentioned to you before, I feel that mm, the quality on some of the stuff's quite iffy and the prices have just gone to um, a, a, a high level, which doesn't, for me, match up with the quality, if you know what I mean. And I've always kind of thought to myself, and I think I said to you before, I wouldn't walk in there and willingly just drop over sort of four or four and a half thousand pounds on a bag. And I certainly wouldn't buy the uh, jumbo, which is now over 6,000. Although I'm glad I got it back in the day when it was about four and a half thousand. But anyway, I actually bought a bag a couple of weeks ago, as some of you um, will know. And my, my, guess i guess the decision i've come to with chanel is that unless i really like it i'm not you know i'm not that interested and with that bag i bought i just really loved it and it was in the three thousands as opposed to infinity and beyond anyway i was in there because oh my god i was invited in for an appointment that's why i was there for an appointment and i thought well you know it's it's a day out let's uh, go and do it Oh, guys, the service was it was impeccable. Oh my god, it was brilliant! I had I had the best time. So friendly and even you know like don't buy anything if you know if you don't love it. And I was like wow wow. It, honestly, everyone fantastic. I don't know why. I don't know why, but um, I was blown away. Fantastic service and. I, I really don't think it's got anything to do with YouTube actually, can I just say that? I strongly don't think that. Um, I don't know what what that was about. I didn't buy anything either because as I've said, you know, that their, their stuff's got really expensive, quality, etc. And unless I go in there one day and I see something and I really like it and I actually feel like the quality kind of stacks up a bit, then I'm not really gonna go for it. So this t-shirt, this was two and a half thousand pounds for a t-shirt. So yeah, I just, I had the opportunity to film some of this stuff and I thought I would show you some of the new collection. So I hope what I get to show you in here, cause I've got so much to show you, don't know how I managed it, but I hope you enjoy it.
put on a few pairs. I'm not gonna get this t-shirt by the way. I'm just trying it on with it. This is like two and a half thousand pounds for a t-shirt. So they're really high waisted. The, uh, what am I talking about? The cardigan from that collection. I just thought I'd try it on. I had to pin this one at the back, but it's meant to be quite sort of sculpted. But yes, it's, it's nice. It's a lot. Um, but let me show you some of the close ups. The buttons on it. I've got the number five. Sorry to do side camera, by the way. I know it's really annoying, but I've been trying to film in here and it's like, because the mirrors are broken up like that, it's really hard to get a full view. Okay. perfect, no problem. So here we've got, so this, this is all my stuff anyway, but I just haven't been wearing it because of lockdown and stuff and this one I'm scared. Mm -hmm. I told I, I did say I wasn't gonna do this but I think I'm I think I'm just gonna do it. You're talking me into this now. Are you nervous? You, well yeah only because I kind of am I, I want to have it done. Mm -hmm. It'll it'll be fine. It's it's when that needle no actually it's when you get the needle out and I can see the needle that's the point where I, I think I don't do why I'm not worry my love. No, I'm just going to clean and mark. Okay. And then we will see. Oh my god, it's massive. Don't even look at them. It's like a core borer. <laughs> it's a good couple of millimeters wide, let me tell you. Yeah. There's a tube, isn't there? Does it cut out a flesh in the middle? It is a tube. Oh god, it does. But this oh. is my look. Can I show everyone? Yeah, this is not a taper pin. Yeah, but that's huge. It isn't. Look at that, though. That's a pretty big. That, that's not small, is it? there's a hole in the middle of it as well. Don't look at oh. And um, breathe out, you did great. Oh, keep breathing, keep breathing in and breathe out, remember? Breathe in, breathe out, that will take the needle out, so just keep it doing it for me. You're doing great. It was okay, actually. I told you. It's not like the helix, that really stung. That I was really you. hot after. It was, it's horrible. It's really painful compared to the crunch piercing. <laughs> everyone as you can see we've come back to Porsche Center Reading today because they very kindly offered to let me uh, take for a couple of days a Taycan which is their electric car oh is that a GT3 RS down there green one I think it is and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to leave with them my car and then come and pick it up in a couple of days time there is one they have which is pink and I'm hoping it's going to be the pink one just for fun. David's seen the pink one haven't you? I have but I haven't seen it here. The muffled sound of the moth. Muffled sound. Can I quickly show everyone this? Sorry. <laughs> is this going to focus? If any of you know what this is about leave a comment in the description if you know the name of of this and what it is i have a matching key <laughs> underneath it's like that and i'm going to show akin this because i told him about this and he didn't know what it was but if you know what this is i've got a spare one of these key covers for a 911 991.1 or the 991.2 edition and if you can guess it right if you have one of those cars i will send you the other one that i've got okay here we have akin hi how you doing good to see you again Thanks for being here. nice to get out of the house i was just saying i really want to show you this see if you know what it is okay. come and have a look do you recognize this i do indeed i do indeed yes Look indeed. at that. That is that is something special. That Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. I love the way it matches. I got it on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's fake. But um, 
No, it looks very good indeed. I now that I've seen it, I do recognise it from, from one of our cars indeed. Are we going to get the pink Taycan? Yes. Oh, no way! No, not really. Sorry. Oh, no! <laughs> what, has it been sold? Um, no, that one unfortunately didn't belong to us. Um, oh. So we have a couple at the moment, they're both white. Okay. So we've got the white one. Um, it is very nice, it's got nice wheels on it, uh, yep. a few nice options on it. Um, and it is only a couple of days old as well. So That's it. Uh, 4S. 4S. Look at this. How hot is this car? Look at the matte wheels. Matte black wheels. Wow. So you can see um, our our Taycan demonstrators. We have a Taycan Turbo over here and a Taycan 4S on the other side plugged in as well. Uh, they both happen to be in white, but it's quite handy because you can see that visually yeah. there really aren't too many differences between the derivatives. Um, oh, hang on a minute. Is this flat white and that's Carrera? Because that looks a bit metallic. It's probably the other way. It looks the grey tone. It could be, or it could just be because we cleaned this car this morning for you. Oh, it could be. Yet. Could be. Oh, wow. Look at the carbon fibre. But yes, absolutely stunning. And all of these are options that you can have on any model. So okay. These wheels you could have on the turbo, vice versa. Power pack. Yes. So these are the standard cables that you'll get with the car mm -hmm. um, when you purchase the car from brand new. These are included within the price of the car as the necessities to charge the car essentially. So that bit? This bit or this bit? Um, this bit? Yep. Can that go in an extension lead? No. Or it's got to go in a mains well, plug? That has to go right. directly into the socket. So the, because of the amount of power going through these, this yeah. definitely cannot go in an extension cable. Right, okay. Um, it's it's just at a risk of essentially fire. Yeah, just yeah. Use the I just thought I'd mention that. Um, I know it sounds like a Volvo. dumb question. Yeah, we've got someone who plugs in a Volvo <laughs> with like two extension in cables. In the rain. <laughs> in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> These cables, so this is the supercharger. Um, yeah. So this can charge at up to 350 kilowatts. These cables here that you can see are extremely thick. Yes. The reason why they're so thick is because they're water cooled. So that actually oh, wow. goes back to the reason why you can't plug in uh, your bin into an extension cable. Water cooled. They will get extremely hot. So now this is a 350 kilowatt charger. It's a supercharger. So this yeah. is going to get yeah. very, very hot. Hence the water cooling and the size of the cable. Hang on, I need to move my seat forward. Akin has just said, how do we turn off? I don't know. Akin's just said when the car is on and you put your foot on the brake, did he say it just turns on? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my foot on the brake. The window is literally that slow. <laughs> I was going to say. Yeah. I was going to say, what's wrong with the window? Is it running out of battery? That's what. Yeah, that's right. Hang on, is it on? It is on. Yeah. No, I didn't even hear that. Strange. Actually though, it doesn't feel it doesn't feel loads different. And we've got the sound turned on. Can you hear it? It's so weird. It sounds like spaceship. Yeah. everyone so i hope you enjoyed that shopping bit at harrods haven't been there in a while and i know i've had loads of you asking for a, um, a vlog on that but anyway david and i thought we would david's operating the camera at the moment and we thought we would show you not only the car that porsche reading have loaned us but also i've had loads of you saying can you show us the uh, mclaren again and yeah, I haven't shown you it in a while, so here it is. That is not a real number plate, that's a vanity number plate. I get a lot of you asking, it's not real. Come and have a look. Round here, it's got the model designation in matte black. So on these, you can either have it removed, or you can have it in silver, I think. And this is obviously one of the options you can get. These are 21 inch wow. Taycan exclusive design wheels with carbon fiber trim which i think gives this a nice edge this has got the panoramic 
glass roof on it. So what this means is this is like a sunroof almost and it's tinted black, but you can see up through it. Can we see? Can we see? Entree? Yes. Yes. Do you know what my favourite bit is? No. This car. This. The charging point when you do that. Oh. We're in Star Trek. So we've got two of these on this car. This is the fast charging because you've got these on the bottom here. Akin was saying that at a lot of places that do uh, have, that have charging points, they don't actually have this. Put your finger there. No. Go on. Um, they what they have instead is most places will have the sort of budget version, which takes longer for you to charge the car, but it looks like this. So it's only got those pins there. It doesn't have the two down here. But this is good as well because depending on how you park your car at home, if it's only convenient to kind of have a cable coming out of one side of the house, then you can... And then one final thing, because I don't want to bore everyone. Come through, David, before I open the door. Yeah, dunk. So, I'm in the car. Where are the keys? In your pocket. Yes. <laughs> I was right again. I'm in the car. I have the keys. The car is now on. I can also use this button to turn the car on if I want, but it's basically on already. Another thing that is an added extra on this, so this will cost you more if you have it, but on the center console, the car is entirely quiet and it's something that I'm not used to. And one of the things that I was worried about was that when maneuvering, you know how normally you can hear the sort of gear that the car's in? With this, I was worried you're not gonna get that and I didn't wanna to touch the accelerator and it goes. One of the things you can do, and it's called electric sport sound, is you can have it on or off. Currently it's on off. To me, personally, I, when the car's not running, it doesn't do anything. I expected to press that meant to hear an engine noise. I found that when I was driving the car, it's not very loud. So it do, I've just been driving it with it off because it hasn't really added anything. So personally speaking, if you're looking at this car and you're wondering whether you add that, test drive this car, try that out. But personally for me, I wouldn't bother. I don't know how much extra it is, but I know it's an extra. You get 221, I think, ra uh, mile range in this. And David calculated, how much is it to charge up to four power? It's about three pounds. Three pounds fifty or something to eight pounds. to eighty percent. How much can you fit in? Wow, that goes back a really long way. That's actually quite quite large. Now at the back there, can you see? There's two metal hooks. They are actually what this um, case. Oh, that clips in the climbing thing. Yeah, this is not for climbing on it. So that when you're driving, <laughs> that's really heavy. How many bags can you fit in? Oh, that's easy. I could actually get in there and you yeah, could close you could. the boot. You actually could. What about the front one? We'll show the front one as well. So actually, you can get a loss in this. Well, in the, uh, if you keep the power pack in. Look, you can get loads in. There's loads of room. Look how much room there is still left. And not only that, but there's a boot at the front. That's tiny. Oh, it is quite small. Now that is small. I can't believe I'm using Chanel bags as props. Empty ones. You can <laughs> fit two Chanel bags, but if there were boxes in there, you couldn't, I don't think you could get those in. Does it close automatically? Do you have to pull it down? There's a button. Oh, and it closes like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. this color I would get this color in my 911 because I love this color I love the car but it's very noisy when you're a passenger when the gears are low it's kind of one of those cars where if we're trying to have a conversation you can't really can you we normally shout at each other yes over the noise it is noisy right so and obviously what are these good doors called butterfly no 
David doors. No. And you turn up and you're being fabulous. They're called dihedral doors. Oh. What does supercar blondie call them? Uh, Butterfly. Really? The Alcantara interior. Now there are two different types of seats you can get and I do believe this is the more comfortable one. No, it's that, not. Oh, this is the least comfortable one. These are the P1 seats, so they're bucket and they're not electric. So yeah, as Sophie was saying, it's got the McLaren orange stitching around all the Alcantara. Oh yeah, and that, Sophie doesn't like that. She I've said it gets in her way. When you're driving, your eye focuses on it. And also, these seats give you the worst lower back pain They ever. don't, they're actually quite comfortable. I find them really uncomfortable. There's a pillow in here somewhere. Which no, no, I took it out. Did you? <laughs> I normally sit on it in a... So anyway, you can change all the modes down here. The other thing this, this car has is the top mounted exhaust. Every time I tried to film this bit, a gale would blow and you can't hear what I'm saying. The McLaren 600LT, McLaren don't make that anymore. I don't know why McLaren do that. They tend to make things and then start again with something else. Well, not start again, but you know what I mean. Taycan, we had it for two days. We did about 80 miles in it and we really wanted to put it through its paces and see how much that range held up. So we did do kind of motorway driving in it, but we also drove it a bit more playfully, you know, not just kind of like pootling around at, you know, 20 miles an hour, that kind of thing. When we picked the car up, from memory, I think it had about 82 or 83% charge. When we took it back, it was still in the 80s. I've got a feeling it was 80 and we didn't charge it when we were at home because we don't have a plug outside, but also wanted to see what it was like. If you don't charge it overnight, does it still hold up? It absolutely did. The drive was impeccable as well. That thing is so responsive and it still has that Porsche feeling. Although the Taycan Cross Turismo, I think that came out fairly recently, a couple of weeks ago, this week, that looks incredible. 